This is kelp, a type of big, leafy seaweed. Scientists see it as a potential source of biofuel, one that could boost clean energy production in the US. But there is a problem. Growing kelp involves fields of ropes strung up underwater. Entanglement is one of the biggest threats to, uh, for he around here, the North Atlantic right whale. Let's go ahead and take a picture of the wound on her right side. In Cape Cod Bay, 10-year-old Pilgrim and her calf are among the last surviving 340 or so North Atlantic right whales left migrating along the U.S. East Coast. Christy Hudak is a researcher at the Center for Coastal Studies. So the North Atlantic right whales unfortunately are endangered. They are suffering from multiple human-related causes, and that includes ship strikes, entanglements in fishing rope or any type of line. As with traditional lobster fishing, seaweed farms involve fields of ropes strung up underwater for the kelp to grow on. And while there hasn't yet been a documented case of a whale getting tangled in seaweed ropes, some biologists are worried. So they're focusing on that food resource and not what's around them. So when they encounter a fishing, a fishing line or any type of rope in the system, the water system, then they, their instinct is to roll. And with that rolling, they catch themselves up even more and tighten that rope around their body and become entangled in multiple ways. So how can we produce low carbon fuels while minimizing the risks to protected species? For the United States, seaweed aquaculture is still a nascent business, but it's growing fast. In 2021, farmers produced 440 metric tons of kelp, up from 18 metric tons in 2017. U.S. officials hope energy leaders might bring seaweed into their biofuel plans if it can be proven as a cost-effective alternative to corn. Since 2017, the Department of Energy has spent more than $55 million into such research. For now, concerns about cost and scalability remain. And for kelp farmer John Lovett, there are other considerations too. As farms get bigger and bigger, I just think that you know, conservation has to be top of mind. It's, it can't be an afterthought. It's got to be planned for. The state of Massachusetts has granted coastal permits to five farms for sugar kelp, a strain of large brown seaweed. But the state's Marine Fisheries Division says it won't allow any new kelp sites with fixed ropes in deeper waters known to be important areas for right whales. For his part, Love has been testing out whale-friendly kelp gear in collaboration with Woods Hole. Uh, we pin our, the kelp arrays very close to the bottom, to the ocean floor. So I'm probably only about two to three feet off the bottom of the floor. Uh, and what that does is it sinks all the gear, so basically you don't see anything. As you go, boats go over top of it, whales theoretically can go over top of it, uh, and it's uh, right down there near the ocean floor. The research that we're doing is in hopes that uh, at some point production farms could adopt some of the methods that we've uh, researched and identified as being whale-friendly and whale-safe. Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, there's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the colonial loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.
US and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.